dear students now we are going to discuss the comparison of minimum mode and maximum mode configurations in 8086 microprocessor in minimum mode only one processor can be configured hence it is called as single processor system configuration in maximum mode multiple processors can be configured hence it is called as multi processor system configuration so in 8086 microprocessor the pin number 33 indicates whether the processor is going to be configured either minimum mode or maximum mode in case of minimum mode this pin mn by mx bar is set to 1 if it is equal to 0 it can be configured as maximum mode okay so if this signal is equal to 1 means here we are going to connect this pin to the vcc supply it can be plus 5 volt okay if you are going to connect this 33rd pin to ground then it can be a maximum mode configuration okay so next 8086 processor itself generates system control signals because it is having only one processor that is 8086 processor in maximum mode external bus controller 8288 is used to generate the control signals okay so next hold and hlda signals are used for bus request with dma controller in this maximum mode a request bar grand signals that is rq bar by gt bar signals are used for bus request by other processors like 8087 or 8089 okay so next interrupt related signals in this minimum mode inta bar that is interrupt acknowledgement signal is given by 8086 processor itself to respond that interrupt request signal but in this maximum mode inta bar that is interrupt acknowledgement signal is given by 8288 bus controller okay so next all direct control signals like memory or input output read bar write bar are given by 8086 processor itself because minimum mode only one processor that is 8086 alone is used okay so but in maximum mode status signals s1 bar s1 bar and s2 bar are generated by each processor next in minimum mode the transceiver signals that are transceive and receive signals are given by 8086 processor itself but in maximum mode the transceiver signals are generated by 8288 bus controller okay so the next one is pin details from 24 to 31 so here we can have eight different signals from this 24 to 31 for this minimum mode as well as maximum mode here it is interrupt acknowledgement bar ale that is address latch enable data enable data transmit or receive bar, memory or input output bar, write bar, HLDA that is hold acknowledgement, hold signals. But in this maximum mode, the eight signals are QS1, QS and SO bar, S1 bar, S2 bar, log bar, request or grant signals. Okay. Here the minimum mode configuration is a simple circuit. Maximum mode configuration is a complex circuit. Multiprocessing is not applicable in this minimum mode. Multiprocessing is possible with this maximum mode. So here the performance is very low. Here it provides very high performance because it supports multiprocessing concept. Okay.